Welcome to another video from Guitar School Live. In this video, I'll show you how easy it is to program the stock FCB 1010 to control Guitar Rig 6 using the macro module. Let's get started. To program the FCB 1010, we'll be using an editor since it is the easiest way to program the controller. There are many editors that are both free and for purchase. However, the editor I find the easiest to use is the FCB 1010 Manager by Mountain Utilities. You can find a link to this free editor in the description below. Installation is simple, so there is no need to cover it in this video. When you open the editor, you'll be presented with this screen. The first thing you want to do is make sure your MIDI device is connected to the editor. Click the Options button, then MIDI Devices. From here, choose your MIDI device. After that click View, then Presets. This is where you'll program the FCB 1010 to send MIDI messages. Now you are ready to start programming the controller. In the presets pane, you'll highlight bank 0 preset 1 and drag down to 0 10. Next click increment. Since we're entering note numbers, select note. The set number is the number that will be used on the first selected preset. Since it is pedal 1, we will set it to the number 1. When you click OK, you'll see the numbers change in numerical order from 1 through 10. If you don't see any numbers, click Enable and select Note. The pedals are now set. Lastly, let's set up the expression pedals. If you can see the expression pedals in the window, and you are satisfied with the setup, you can jump to the next section. If you don't see anything, click Enable and select Expression A, then repeat for Expression B. If you wish to change the values, simply select 0 through 10. Then select Fix. Select Expression A, then Controller, enter your desired value, then click OK. Repeat the process for Expression B. The minimum values for each should default to 0 and 127 for the maximum. You are now done setting up the bank. Let's send the data to the FCB 1010. Now that we have set up the FCB 1010 in the editor, we need to send the commands from the editor to the controller. In order to transmit the data, we must set up the FCB 1010 to receive it. This is done in three easy steps. First turn the unit off, then hold the down button and turn it back on. Continue holding the down button until the green light on direct select is lit and then release. Next, press the down pedal once to select config. Finally, press the number 7 button to activate the receive mode. Now, you can click the green send data to the FCB 1010 button on the editor. You will get a pop-up notification instructing you to do the three steps we just did. Simply click the OK button and the data will be sent to the controller. The last thing that needs to be done is to save it to the controller. If you do not do this step, the controller will not work. Simply hold the down button until the countdown finishes and the green light goes out. Now your FCB 1010 is ready. Before we set up the macro module, let's first assign pedals 1 and 6 to change presets. I like using pedal 1 for down and 6 for up. Here you right click the down arrow and select learn MIDI control. Step on pedal 1 to activate the control. Now you can move to the previous presets by stepping on pedal 1. Now repeat the same process for pedal 6. Now you'll be able to increment through your presets. Next we will set up the macro module to turn effects on and off. 
To set up the macro module, first click the trash can icon to reset the module. Next we will right click on a knob and select toggle knob slash button mode to change it to a button. Next, click learn MIDI control and step on pedal 2. Repeat this process for the remaining pedals, but make sure to skip pedal 6 as it is already mapped to change presets. After you do this, the last thing there is to do is assign the buttons to an effect. This is done by simply dragging the four-way arrow to a button. Now you can toggle the effect on and off. Repeat the same process for the other buttons. Before we leave, there is one important thing to note. You must save your work before changing presets, or all changes will be lost. Well there you have it. I hope you enjoyed learning how to program the stock FCB 1010 to work with Guitar Rig 6. With a little planning, you can have complete control of your rig using the FCB 1010. Before we end, if you would like to see more videos like this, hit like, then click the subscribe button and ring the bell so you will be notified when new content is released. From all of us at Guitar School Live, we would like to thank you for watching.